Hi there, my name is Janet. I'm coming to you from Drala Mountain Center. And joining me today is Michael Rock Sandrock. And along with Marty Kibalowski and Dr. Lara Johnson, Rock will be teaching a program here at DMC called Runners Reconnect with Your Inner Health and Well-Being from October the 20th to the 22nd. Welcome, Rock. Thank you for speaking with me today. Thank you, Janet. It's wonderful to be here, and kudos to you and everyone up at the Drala Mountain Center. Uh, for anyone listening to this or watching, if you don't come to our program, there's many wonderful programs at, uh, up at Drala that are well worth checking out. It changed my Thanks. life, so that's the reason that I want to continue this. Well, that's great to hear. Thank you for sharing that. That's that's always such a, a pleasure. Um, so so tell me, Rock, why meditation and yoga for runners? Well, the reason is is because uh, runners, we runners, and a runner could be uh, sort of a metaphor for. You don't have to be a marathon runner like I was, and uh, Dr. Laura is, and Marty was. You don't have to be trying for the Olympic trials. Uh, it could be anything that we're doing. It takes up a big chunk of our life. It could be triathlons. It could be overwork. So why do so many of us, why do so many runners, why do so many people, why do so many of us overdo it in everything that we are uh, active in, in life? More swimming, more job, more job work, more, more money, more of this. So we're kind of overtraining in life. So the reason for this retreat is to, this program is to go into the, unconscious, like Carl Jung said, until we make the unconscious conscious, it directs our actions and we call it fate. So the reason for this program brings the unconscious to the surface and therefore we are able to use uh, our, look at our motivation, understand what it really is, and then make better choices in life, which might mean you don't have to run as much as you're doing. You don't have to do it, uh, overdo it. So that's the reason that's the reason for this. And to do that, it takes the expertise that the Drala Mountain Center has been offering for many years now, which is the uh, the contemplation and the mindful um, practice with the Buddhist uh, uh, structure and learning those habits, which most of us runners in the West, we did not know about that. It's all pretty recent in the last you know uh, decades or so. So the reason for the program then is to give, get concrete habits that you can take back, the people coming to the program can take back, back home to have incorporate those uh, habits into their lives to make a better life. The whole idea of the program is to, how can we live the richest, most fruitful, uh, enjoyable, significant life possible. And so for many of us, and I can speak for Marty, I can speak for myself, and I know Marty and Dr. Laura well, we uh, training 100 miles a week and running, trying for the Olympic trials was not leading to the most significant life. But growing up, I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about meditation. So it was up at the, um, the now the Drala Mountain Center where, where I learned that habit. So Come to the program, and then you're going to learn. You learn the habits. It, it's, it's, a, it's a term now called um, lifestyle medicine. Lifestyle medicine is okay in the West. What do we do? We we treat the symptoms. So, you know, one's got some anxiety. Someone's got some depression. Someone's this or that. Well, we're going to give them a drug to cover up the symptoms, send them away, send a big bill <laughs> because insurance is going to cover it. Well, as it, a recent study uh, in the last uh, you know, 15 years or so showed that running actually is better than Prozac for uh, alleviating depression, anxiety, stress. Um, there's a term called Prozac burnout. And what happens after a while, then your, your body gets used to it and does, doesn't help at all. So you have to get to the root cause. To get to the root cause, though, it can be painful. So it's, it's not comfortable. You have to go back and you have to deal with Everything in the unconscious that's, um, as uh, mythologist Joseph Campbell would say, uh, that's unacknowledged, 
uh, unassimilated, uh, unknown. It's in the unconscious, so by definition, that means we don't, we're not aware of it. Bring it to the surface, and then we can acknowledge it. It's like, okay, why was I running? And I can use myself. This is what I got from the program when I started out. Why was I running 100 miles a week? I wasn't going to make the Olympic team. I wasn't going to win a gold medal. I knew that on the surface, but I was still driven, still driven. you know. And so by doing that, by running all the time, twice a day, 20 miles a day, for many years, I, I had a streak of you know, many, many, many years of running, running every day, 20 miles a day. By doing that, it keeps you from doing other things. I'm so, I'm so tired at night, I just fall right asleep. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. And then when I first um, did uh, first my first exposure to uh, the teachings of uh, meditation, then I started slowing down and sitting for the first time and taking a deep breath. So I was trained as an organic chemist, molecular biologist. And so what's fascinating is that we take the, the teachings, what we've learned, what we're learning every day about science, about the body, neurobiology, psychology, cosmology, cultural anthropology. And it's all coming together now in this grand synthesis that uh, brings the whole world together, the mind, the body, the earth the solar system, the galaxy, it's all tied together into one, one whole. So why, why come to the program? Which is a great question. Why, you know, why not just go watch a football game? Come to the Colorado, come to Folsom Field. You can see Coach Prime in Colorado, right? Uh, it's, it's fun to do that. But, but if you come and then you're going um, you to realize, and this is what happened to me. I was up at the, at the Drala Mountain Center. <clears throat> and I remember standing in front of the – Beautiful. So those of you who have been up there know that there's a, the wonderful cafeteria. I think that's what you call it, Janet, the cafeteria. You call it the cafeteria. Wonderful food. Everyone comes up there. Um, I hope you come up and experience the, the, if you want vegetarian food, all fresh. And man, um, it's hard not to overeat up there, but it's so good. And I remember standing there and talking to uh, a guy who's now one of my best friends, Brett Astor. And he, I talked about how we're all separate. I'm just a separate being. I'm a marathon runner. I'm this physical being. I'm in great shape. I can run a 30 minute, 30, 23, 30 minutes, 23 seconds for 10K. And I'm separate from the world. And he, and he was the first one that said, no, no, you're not separate. You are part of, you're not just part of nature. You are the nature. And I said, no, no, no. Where's, I'm a separate being. Look at me. I'm here. Janet, you're over there. I got this computer here. This is, we're all separate. So it's been this process of over, that was 2005. So it's been this process uh, every year going up there and, and learning the techniques and keeping, keeping the habits going. Uh, and then by doing that, I came to the point, which it's not going to happen. It could happen. It's just like when someone asked uh, uh, the, Zen, the great Zen master Suzuki, who brought Zen Buddhism right to San Francisco, the great, you know, all that. <laughs> and they asked him, they said, what, uh, how, how long will it take to reach Sartori? And he said, well, it could be 30 seconds could be 30 years so you just never know you could get that flash of enlightenment or you could be like in my case you're just going to stay with it stay with it and that's the zen uh, approach which is the uh, the approach of the of the athlete discipline you're going to just keep going going and you reach a point where you break through now and this is what's fascinating it, it all ties in with science because now we're learning that the ego keeps us in something called the uh the basal, uh, the basal default mode. So right now, I'm talking to you, Janet. You're listening. You're you're recording, and people are watching this. Our mind, our our ego has to be in charge and in charge. But when we do the meditation, ego can slow down and it starts to dissolve a little bit. And that's yes, it starts to dissolve, and we can reach a point where then other things can come up. And so it was um, that idea that. Thoughts self-liberate when touched by awareness. So the thoughts that are down down below, because right now we're talking, we you know I'm, we don't have time for those thoughts. Those inner feelings come up, but when they come up, they can just self-liberate and they can dissipate and no longer uh, bother us if if they were bothering us. And then we can um, be happier, be more productive, be better in our relationships. Be better runners, be better athletes, because we're not going to overtrain. Maybe it's time for a rest day. 
Like you never take a rest day. It's just like, take a rest day. You mean I'm not going to run? Oh, that's crazy. No, no, I got to run every day. But sometimes it's, it's, uh, it's better not to run because we get the benefit from running, not while we're running, not while we're running up the hill, up to Marple Point. But we get the benefit when our body has a chance to rest and recover through sleep. And so up at the up at the Drala Mountain Center, not just for this retreat, uh, October 20th, but it's for all the retreats up there. You get the uh, you get all the attributes of what uh, what's called um, the Blue Zone. And many people are familiar with the Blue Zone now. Now it's a Netflix show. There was a journalist. It's always the journalists that do all the the groundbreaking work. That's the trenches because I was a journalist, that, you know, and still am. So the Blue Zone. The journalists went around the world and found the, the hot spots where people live not just the longest lives, but the most uh, satisfying lives. And they identified certain traits from this blue zone. And up at the Drala Mountain Center, it hit all of those, uh, all of those uh, traits, all the attributes of the blue zone longevity centers. First one, social connection. You're there with your friends and all the beautiful people, like you said, um, Janet, the wonderful people in the community, other, other people you're going to meet uh, in the program, the staff. The teachers, uh, that's that's the number one thing. More than anything else, social connection. Then you're going to have exercise. And it could be exercise of choice. It doesn't have to be running. Many of the people who come walk, hike. In fact, even runners, we some of the best runners will, will power hike up to steep hills. So exercise. Um, third thing is being in nature. And as Janet, as you said, and other people have remarked that the um, – Drala Mountain Center is a special, special place. It's one of those uh, sacred spots. Uh, it's really just wonderful. And as soon as you go up there, you're going to ah, feel that. I know I know you feel like that, Janet, sometimes. Just like, oh, I'm home. And then the fourth, uh, the fourth a attribute, of course, is nutrition. So the Drala Mountain Center hits all of those. So why come to the program? It's going to make you a better runner. It's going to make you a better person. And you're going to learn the habits to lead a, a great uh, – life and it could be the happiest life uh, possible for yourself. I love what you're pointing to here, Rock. Just that notion of bringing, bringing all of these things together, those four points that you just listed and, um, you know, the combination of the running, the yoga and the meditation helping us to bring this sense of balance and and perhaps even a little ease into our lives and make better choices about what we're doing and why or and what we're not doing and why and i i think that's just yeah so yes, thank you for yeah. yeah i know i have a couple of a couple of um quotes here from past participants that I thought maybe I would share. Um, someone says, I keep coming back three times thus far because every time I learn another new skill to bring contemplation and attentiveness to my running and to use the joy of moving my body to deepening my meditation practice. And she goes on to talk about the other attendees and being outdoors, points that you also mentioned, that sense of community and that sense of, of being surrounded by nature. Um, and then someone else shares that um, because of you, I really am a runner and I don't hate running anymore. <laughs> So I think that's pretty high praise. And it again, it just kind of sums up everything that that you've shared with us. Is there is, it, is there anything else that you'd like to share about the program or? Yes. Yes, Jan. Thanks for asking. But uh, those, those are beautiful. Thanks for pointing out those. those. That, that makes it, brings a smile to my face. But if you're a runner and you want to get in some serious miles, the Drala Mountain Center is a great, wonderful place to train. There's miles and miles of forested trails and aspen leaves on the ground and pine trees and elk and all sorts of like beautiful nature, uh, steep trails, flat trails, dirt roads. Uh, so if you're a runner, you're going to have a, a wonderful, wonderful time. And so um, 
But really, I, I think what you hit upon some important uh, that important point that just in making this uh, bringing this all together. And one thing I wanted to uh, mention is that this is all really new, and I kind of alluded to that um, because all the uh, research into the neuroscience is all taking place just just in the last twenty or thirty years. Because that the top researcher is uh, Dr. Um, Richard uh, Hansen, uh, Davis, Richie Davis from the University of Wisconsin. He writes about in his book that when he went to Harvard to get his PhD, and he said this is in the 1970s, he, uh, he said he wanted to study meditation. And he said, well, if you want to study meditation, you're not going to do it here. You, you're not going to study meditation here at Harvard. That was Harvard, and that was in the 1970s. So... So when people come to this year, it's all it's all new, and we're all we're all in this together. This whole new consciousness that's coming in there, and so besides the running, you know, what's really fun about the program is just going back because uh, each of the participants has their expertise. Some are businessmen, some are science, some are you know, Google people, Microsoft techie people. And it's fun to bring everyone in there together, and we've had um, uh, astrophysicists come there before too and talk about the origin of the universe and how literally. You know that, that literally we are all uh, the result of exploding supernovas that spewed atoms all over the universe and eventually coalesced into us right now. So everything that's here, this, this screen and everything, you and me and your beautiful smile, Janet, and everything, it's all, it all came from the exploding supernova. And it's just like, what? Isn't that a wonderful? Yeah, it's just, it's just so great. And so I want to bring the point is, so you get to that and then you realize that um, – that the earth somehow forms and then, you know, out of the gravity from the sun and everything. And then the, then the first bacteria, single cells, and then we keep going and then we get the, um, the, the small shrew-like uh, mammals that survived the extinction of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago when the asteroid hit the Yucatan Peninsula. And then we have the, the uh, hominids coming, you know, two to three million years of hominid evolution. And so uh, this, there's a famous book called uh, Born to Run. And so literally we were born – we were, we were born to run. We're runners. And that's what made us human. Running made us human. We came down from the trees and we stood upright and we began to run. That's how we hunted. And so that's how we communicate everything. And so literally running is the foundation. But if you can, by doing the meditation, this is happens to some of us and it happened to me, is that you can actually go from being an outsider, being something separate, like I was when I first went to the Kedrala Mountain Center, to um, getting that, that uh, connection and getting that integration into life. And here's, here's one of the paintings from this really nice uh, art gallery. The owner uh, from Honors Art Gallery in Boulder let me, let me use this office. But this piece here I wanted to show people. But this, this is just an amazing piece. So you can see this. And the title of this piece, you can see that it, it touches the truth. But the title of this piece is um, uh, Integrado a la Energia de la Tierra. Integration with the energy of the earth. Integration with the energy of the earth. You know, that is just amazing. And that's and that's us. And so up at, you feel that up at the Drala Mountain Center. You feel the energy of the earth. And then you feel, if you stick with the meditation, then you're going to feel, you can reach the point where you feel that, uh, that you are, or I am, and Janet, you are that energy of the earth, which is the energy of the sun which is the energy of our solar system, which is the energy of our galaxy, Milky Way galaxy, which is the energy of our universe going back 14.6 million billion years ago. And if you feel that, that's that enlightenment. That's that connection. And that's like, oh, man. And the little things aren't going to bother you so much. Maybe you're on time for your Zoom meeting. Maybe not. Maybe the audio doesn't work. Maybe it, it does. But, you know, if you have that feeling of this, then it's just something uh, just really – Something wonderful happens. So I just wanted to share that, that you can reach, reach that point. And so, like I said, you know, Janet, so if anyone just comes up there, um, any program up there is going to be worthwhile just because of the space and the teachers and the staff, you know, people like you. And um, just really appreciate everything you and uh, Dee and Barb and uh, everyone up there have, have provided for, for years. So you're really doing a great service uh, to, to everyone. So thank you for your work. And I hope to see a lot of you out October 20th. We'll do some runs together. We'll do some meditation and some yoga. Awesome. That's, it's, it's a labor of love for each and every one of us here at Drolla Mountain Center. It truly is. And, and that, that painting, I think, just 
brought everything together so beautifully, both everything that you you just spoke about and the experience of being here um, for any of the programs, really just being on the land, but but I think especially a program like this that kind of allows us to synthesize the the body mind um, aspects and and uh, yeah. So again, that's runners reconnect with your inner health and well-being october the 20th to the 22nd and registration for that closes on october the 6th so reserve your spot on the cushion on the mat on the trails now and we'll see you here mm -hmm.